Okay, so I'm just going to do this question with you as well. Circumference is 9.42, pi is 3.14. And again, you know, you can just follow along the video and you don't have to obviously do it twice. I mean, the video notes is the text of McCormick, so in this case, it's the same thing. So our formula is circumference is 2 pi r, right? We went over that in the previous video. We talked about how um, 2 r, 2 r is the diameter. And if you take the diameter, of a circle um, 3.14 times the diameter is the distance the perimeter around the outside so the distance around the outside or the circumference the perimeter of a circle is called the circumference it's if you walked around the outside or as we showed in the previous video if you tied a string all the way around here's a little string sorry you can't see it very well but but it's a string if I tied a string all the way around the circle you know how long would the string be well, we talked about, well, if the diameter is an inch, then the length of the string would be about 3.14 inches. Okay? And we talked about a pi is a um, irrational number. It's actually um, um, pi, whoops, clear, sorry, pi is 3.1415. 92654 and so on. It's an irrational number, it goes on forever, but it can be approximated with 3.14 or as a fraction 22 over 7 gives us about 3.14 as well. Okay? So in any case, um, so we went over the formula in the previous video. So the circumference of any circle is 2 pi times whatever the radius is, right? Um, and if we're given the circumference, given pi, so we can plug 9.42 into the circumference, and that's equal to 2 times 3.14 times r, okay? And now we have to solve for r. I can multiply this in to get 6.28. I can do that. Uh, I'm actually going to do something a little bit more clever, which is to recognize that um, 2 goes into this number because it's even. See, it ends in a 2. So I'm going to divide the right side by 2, and these guys are going to cross cancel. I could have done that in the last example also, by the way. Um, and I'll divide this also by 2. 2 into 2 goes once. 2 into 9 goes 4 times remainder 1. 2 into 14 goes 7 times. 2 into 2 goes once. So I have 7 Point, or sorry, 4.71 equals 3.14 times r. So I'll write that out. 4.71 equals 3.14 times r. And now I can't see anything to do apart from divide by the 3.14 on both sides. There we go. And we have this over this equals, and these guys are going to cross cancel to give us r. So r equals that divided by that. So that's a long division with decimals. 3.14 into 4.71. Okay, so I'm going to move the decimal point over one, two spots. One, two spots to get 314 into 471. That's the same thing. Why is it the same thing? Because 4.71 over 3.14. If I was to multiply that by 100 over 100, what would I get? Oh, why are you multiplying it by 100? Because if I multiply something by 100, the decimal point moves two spots to the right, doesn't it? Okay. So if I did that, I would get 314 on the bottom, 471 on the top. So multiplying it by 100 over 100 gives us the exact same thing, which is this, 314 into 471, okay? So that's why we can just move them both to the right when we're dividing by decimals. So I'm doing this into this. I'm going to put a decimal point here. I'm going to put in some zeros. I could put in as many as I want. Um, I'm going to, in my mind, I'm going to think this, okay, it's about 300. I'm going to think of this about 300. And so 300 won't go into 4 or 47 or, four, or it'll go into 471, won't it? So yeah, 3 and 14 goes into 471 one time, doesn't it? So 1 times 3, 1, 4, and now I can subtract. So uh, 11, 
11 minus 4 and that turns to a 6. So 11 minus 4 is 7. 6 minus 1 is 5. And that's a 1. So, and then I bring down this 0, don't I? Bring down that 0. So now 314 into 1570 gives what? So in my mind I'm thinking that's about, and by the way the, this decimal point goes up here, right? So in my mind I'm thinking, okay, this is about 300. So that's, I'm thinking to myself, okay, that's about 300 and then this number is about what? That's about 1500. So I can block off the last two digits and think in my mind, okay, what's 3 into 15, right? So I'm just going to, sorry, I'm just going to block this off and block this off and think, okay, what's 3 into 15? What does that give us? 3 to 15 gives 5, doesn't it? Now 5 times 4 is 20, carry 2. 5 times 1 is 5 and 2 is 7. 5 times 3, 15. Look at that, that all worked out. Subtract, we get 0. And 3 into 14 into 0 goes 0 times. So this is our answer up here, 1.5. So that just gives 1.5 watts inches right so it was inches so one or one and a half inches right